Hey guys, over the last several days I've had many comments about how to do the Kydex. So here's a how-to to make a sheath for your Mora knife or any other knife you may have. But we're going to do something different today. We're not going to have the rivets go all the way around. We're just going to have them on one side and do a fold over. And uh, maybe it'll make a nice neck knife. First, let's talk about Kydex. Now this comes in 12 by 12 sheets. I mean, you can get it in two foot by four foot sheets, but this stuff was like $8 a sheet, which was really expensive. I'm using the .063, which is quite flexible, but once you mold it, it's pretty tough stuff. Now let me tell you what I did. I found 10 sheets for $25. That's $2.50 a sheet. Now just to give you an idea, this is uh, my Gerber multi-tool that I made a little sheath for, and this is a piece that I cut off when I was making it, but notice this stuff is fairly rigid. Matter of fact, it's really strong. I think you could stand on it, and some guys do on their videos show how tough their holsters are for their firearms. It locks in good, it's real rigid, and this is just like maybe 50 cents worth of Kydex there. Now, what you need is a good pair of gloves, Leather, preferably. Uh, I'm going to use two before's because I'm doing something long and skinny, those knives. And this little block I'm going to use to lay my Kydex on so I won't burn my uh, cloth tabletop. And foam. Now, I got this at the military supply. Uh, you could use any kind of foam. Just do not use styrofoam because it will melt because this stuff's going to get up close to 300 degrees. A good stiff foam and equal amounts on each side. Now, heat gun. Now, this was a very inexpensive heat gun that I got at Harbor Freight and clamps. But you can use the stove top in your kitchen if you want to or your oven if your wife will let you. The main thing is once you get this Kydex hot, you want to make sure you got everything setting where you can get to it quickly because this stuff is going to cool very fast. I'm even going to make sure my clamps are set at the right height so I can do it very quickly. Here's my little block that I'm going to lay my Kydex on. There are my gloves and my heat gun. I'm going to use this heat gun on high, which is 1500 watts. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can feel the heat through these leather gloves. This thing gets hot. Now, this is lapse time. It actually took almost four minutes to get this to where it was so flexible that it's like leather. It just, it's just really amazing stuff. Lay it in, fold it over, make sure you got it exactly where you want. Take a piece of foam, lay it on there, get it situated. Another pieces of foam, and there's four pieces on each side here. Sandwich it between the two befores. Get my clamp going. As you can tell, I'm working fast because this stuff is uh, cooling quickly. I've used several of the inexpensive clamps just to hold it the way I want, but now I'm using the metal clamps and I'm cranking it down. We're going to take and spend 12 minutes, 15 if you want, to let it cool. Now let's take it out and see what we've got. That looks good, really good. It's cooled down, I've got the knife out. You can see the shape, snaps in good. We've got something here to work with, guys. Well, now let's take and lay out the grommets that we need. We got one, two, three, four, five, six grommets. Now, you do not need a fancy um, saw to do this. You can use just a regular pair of tin snips. Let's get the angle. Now we are going to use a sander. But look at these pieces. We can use these lighter for maybe uh, belt loops. You got to have, guys, a drain hole. See the hole? That way if it rains, all the water runs out of the sheath. 
Okay, now these grommets I bought at Hobby Lobby for $1.77 for, I think it's a hundred. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of grommets. We're gonna use six here. Uh, but first we've got to drill the holes. So you're gonna drill the holes. We're gonna use a quarter inch drill bit. It's got like a little pivot on the point so you can get them exactly where you want. I laid it out with a uh, one foot ruler and a pencil. Now, make sure everything's cleaned out on the inside. And we're gonna insert the rivets to hold the plastic where it should be when we drill the other holes. We've went all the way around now and got all the rivets in. Now let's press them. Now first I'm gonna show you a small rivet press that I got at Hobby Lobby that you use a hammer to drive it down. But as you can see here, it kind of distorts the rivets or the eyelets and it causes them to split on the back side. But like we're saying guys, it was only $3. I ordered this. It's actually a eyelet press. More expensive, of course, but it works really well. And I'm going to use it in my vise. And as you can see, the rivets really have a nice look to them. And no splits. Okay, you've got to press it between there get it situated and then stick it in the vise and then I just crank the vise slowly. This keeps it from causing them to split. Now those turned out really nice. But now we've got to think about what we're really going to do with this. And guys, I'm kind of winging this as I go. And I have decided that this sixth eyelet, I don't need it. Your options here are just endless. First, we're going to cut the top portion of the plastic off or the kydex and look and see if maybe we couldn't make something like maybe a belt loop. Cut it evenly up both sides and then heat this top portion and fold it over and make uh, a clip. And that way we would have a good vertical carry on our belt. Could do some more grinding here to round this out. I'm not really sure that's what I want to do. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the top portion off as I did here, sand it down and look at uh, something else that I might like to have and a sheath for my Mora companion. Now this sander is really handy to have guys but you don't have to have one. Now here's the ferrule rod and what I've done here is I've taken the piece of the kydex I've heated it put the ferrule rod in put a board on one side and a board on another and pushed it together and I'll be able to put two eyelets and tighten this up and mount it somewhere on this sheath but like I say I might just notch this that might be kind of nice to do let's see what that looks like I like that. That wouldn't be bad. Well, this is what I came up with, guys. I'm going to make a horizontal sheath, cross draw, right handed, and see how that does. And these are the Chicago screws. Now, these are not inexpensive. And you make sure you get the metal ones, not the aluminum, because they'll strip out very easily. I'm going to go to the sander, clean it all up, and put it together, and see what you think. 
like I say, horizontal, right-handed cross draw. And I've got a way to start a fire. A few pencil marks I haven't got off yet, but I think it turned out pretty good. You guys can use your imagination and make your own sheaths too. Thanks for watching, guys.